Hello everybody, my name is Cameron Earl, and today is another video where I will be talking about the new villainous set, Mischief and Malice. Uh, it contains inside of it Loki, the god of mischief, Modok, the mental organism designed only for killing, and Madame Mask, the broken person with a vendetta who I know nothing about, except for the fact that she likes getting her revenge. So this set is green with Loki on front of it called Mischief and Malice. I, ex I actually expected them to make another set before they brought out Loki because he was teased. I mean, they did wait three sets for Hela. After they teased her. Um, there's a rumor going around that I heard about that the Gaston set might be the last set for the Disney ones. Which I'm really scared about because I don't want that to happen. Because they still have to do Sean Yu from Mulan. Frollo from Hunchback. They still have to put those two in there. Maybe even Governor Ratcliffe from Pocahontas. I don't... They should finish off the Renaissance villains, is what they should do. And then there's the, uh... I don't think they'll stop making villainous sets without a Pixar villainous. I don't see that happening. Star Wars is a maybe. What I want is a DreamWorks villainous. That's what I want. But I think they're only sticking to companies owned by Disney. They should do DreamWorks, though. DreamWorks pack would be nice, since those villains are good, too. Uh... Neck, but yeah, Loki. I saw the lines like Loki's line is fire and chaos are coming, and I am the lord of chaos. Um, Man and Mask is like, there's nothing sadder than a broken hero, and by sadder, I mean more delightful. And Modox is like, add to my to do list, eliminate all hostile co workers, and restore power to control at aim or something. I don't know. Loki's goal is to collect and spend 10 mischief tokens. He has a special card called the Multiverse, which is basically him going through all pl different places and different personalities and stuff like that, and that's how he gets the mischief tokens. Mana Mask is simple. She just has to play heroes on herself and the feed eight heroes. Um, it's either eight or ten, but I think it's eight. Modok has to work with his aim lackeys to bring back the cosmic cube powers. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, um Yeah, but I I think they're going to make Madame Mask board black. Loki's is I think green. They're going to either make it like a different sheet of green or like gold. I don't know. They'll have to do another color. Well, most like most likely they're just going to make it green because that's the, the color of the box. They always make the color of the box the uh, main villain's board color. Modok, I don't want to insult Modok, but I think they're going to make his board purple. Just because, like, that's his only other color besides yellow, and they already have yellow with Thanos. Um, but yeah, and then why did I just get an armada of YouTube notifications? Anyways, yeah, so that's it. Um, I know why they they put it out on April Fool's, and that's because, like, Loki got a mischief, stuff like that. April Fool's. But the only thing that sucks about it is the fact that it's just like Marvel Villainous. We have to wait forever and ever and ever and ever, and it's going to be super... It's going to feel like a long and boring wait to me. That's what it's going to feel like. Uh, well, yeah, that's pretty much all I got about the new set. Um, but now it is time for today's review. Okay, so, I have a board game here to review. 
Um, I this is a new board game that I got just last week. It is called Last Defense. You have 20 minutes to save the city. Uh, this game, you get an app on your phone or tablet. I have it on my tablet, and I'm filming with my tablet, so I can't except show you yet. You're going to have to find an app called Last Defense. It'll count down from 20 minutes, and... Open it. It's actually really short instructions, but that's because it's played with an app. Literally just four pages. So... You get your board here, and it consists of, where's the start? It consists of, in the middle, the rest area, and then the plaza, construction site, the factory, the mega store, shopping mall, offices, hospital, gardens, um... Farmer's Market, Neighborhood, School, did I say Construction Set? I think it's a Construction Set. Bank and Zoo. And basically when you open the app, it'll say these scientists are stuck in these locations. Later on the news, she'll be like giant tentacles popped up in the gardens. What you'll do is you'll put giant tentacles there and you'll place a new scientist there and everything. The scientists have rubble piles on top of them and you need to play two certain items to get that rubble pile off of them. And the different scientists you uncover, you'll need a biologist and an engineer to defeat this plant. And um, players will drop their scientists off in the plaza. And basically when you got giant biologist and an engineer in the plaza, you'll click on threat defeated on the app and you'll press giant tentacles have been defeated. And there's other one like uh, giant tentacles needs the biologist and the engineer. The spider robots need astrophysicist and engineer. Uh, the space aliens need a meteorologist and an astrophysicist. The uh, sentient plants need a biologist and chemist. And then finally, the junk blob needs a chemist and a meteorologist. So, a lot of them need the meteorologist. Like what's the scientist that is most needed? Okay. So, there's not one, but if you play on beginner, you have to defeat four out of the five threats that are in the game if you um, play on experience. I'm pretty sure you'll have to defeat all five, but it's a difficult game when you're first starting out with it. But we have what they look like, like uh, we got the Junk Blob, the uh, Spider Robots, or Spider Robot, the Sentient Plants, the Giant Tentacles, and then the Space Aliens. These ones always cause me trouble when I'm playing this game. These are the Scientist Tokens with the Rubble Piles, and you see the Rubble Piles have two items on them. What you'll do is you'll roll two dice. This dice tells you how many items you draw, and this dice tells you how many spaces you can move. And basically, you'll just draw those items from this deck of tools. They have wrench, rope, binoculars, fire hydrants, torch, mm -hmm. megaphone. I think those are it. Um, anyways, yeah, at the end of your turn, you'll, like, discard items till you get just five. Um, next one, I, now I have the, uh, the characters, get out of the freaking bag. Get out of the bag. What is happening here? Oh, this guy's, this guy's arm is stuck through a hole in the bag that lets it air out. What the fudge? Get Okay, next we will have the characters. Next, so first character I have is Barbecue Dad. They all take the same actions, but Barbecue Dad has the neighborhood. 
listed on his card right here, which means that's the only safe spot if he enters a space with a monster in it. If you enter a space with a monster, you'll have to drop a scientist. And, uh, that's Barbecue Dad's piece right there. Are you kidding me? My towel just slipped and fell. I had these in ABC order a little more. Okay, but anyways, yeah, that's Barbecue Dad. That's his piece. Next one I have is the um, construction worker. His safe place is the construction site. Here is his piece. Next one I have is the good dog. His safe place is the gardens, and this is his piece. I like playing as a good dog, too. Um, next one is the one that I see played the most, which is the on-call nurse. His safe place is the hospital. He's actually, like, the tallest miniature out of these guys. I didn't even know this game came with miniatures until I bought it. Anyway, there's that. Next person is the skateboarder. Her safe place is the shopping mall. And that's her piece. And then the final one is... I'm going to shoot someone in the face. Next guy, well, final one is the soccer champ. His safe place is the school. And then that's his piece. He has his foot back there on the soccer ball about to kick it. But, yeah, they'll take they'll take um, actions like, okay, so it says right here on the bottom of their card, you'll roll, then you'll draw the number of tools, then you'll move, then you can trade tools with someone else um, once per turn. And you can discard that, and you, then at the end of your turn, you must discard down to five tools. That's pretty much it. Basically, you literally just have to save the city. Um, the only problem is putting this away because there's so much stuff in here, and I like being very organized when I put to get when I put away my board games. But like, not with this one. Just way too much stuff in there. Be organized with the too little space, too much little space in the box to be organized enough. Um. Okay. Jacksepticeye guys in the back, playing in the background, in case you guys are wondering what that background noise is. And then put the board away, put the instructions in there. It's been a long time since I uploaded the YouTube. Huh? And there's the back. The exciting, easy-to-learn cooperative game plays in 20 minutes every time. Team up to save the city from monsters, threats before you overrun your defense. The app audio track announces where the monsters are attacking. Hurry around the city and save the scientists. Collect the tools you need to fight back. Work together to defeat the threat before time runs out. Oh, also, there's also a first aid kit in the tools deck and a construction hat. Those were the two that I missed. Then there's the app you can download. Last defense. It's two to six players, ages eight and plus, and the runtime is, you guessed it, 20 minutes. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.